if you've got it on your neck, people gonna wanna come up and get in your space. They gonna wanna come up and get in your neck. Mona, you about to make my husband go to jail because I'm gonna be smelling irresistible and he gonna be out here trying to fight people. And I'm okay with that. Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea and today we are talking about a bougie one here. None other than Kayali's Yum Bougie Marshmallow and I cannot wait to get into this because I have so many things to say. Also, I have some amazing recommendations on fragrances that I think you could pair with this one that can give you even more bang for your buck. So stay tuned for all of that. But before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking some time and spending it with me today. If you are new, I would love for you to click that subscribe button and join the Glam Girl Squad because we love to have you. And if you are a returning subscriber, Thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel. I really appreciate you being here and watching my video, liking it, commenting down below, shopping through my affiliate links. I truly appreciate any and all support you decide to give me. So let's get right into this video. Now, you might be asking, Chelsea, why do you have the travel size? And I'm gonna tell you why. So I ordered this fragrance early access in the morning on, what was it, Tuesday? What was the 20th? I think that was a Wednesday. And it is not supposed to be delivered to me until Monday. And I was like, I don't have time for this. I need this fragrance in hand now. So I went to the store today. I picked up the travel size because I was like, if it smells as good as I think it will smell, I'm going to want the travel size anyway. That's why we have the travel size because it smells just that good. Now, this fragrance retails anywhere from $29 to $138. This travel size is $29. This fragrance is going to fall in the warm and spicy fragrance family. The scent type is going to be warm and sweet gourmands. And the notes are going to be strawberry, pink marshmallow, whipped vanilla, freesia, coconut, and we've got one more, pink musk. So this is described as a delightful menu of mouth-watering notes, including fluffy pink marshmallow, succulent strawberry, flaky coconut, delicate freesia, whipped vanilla, and pink musk. Bougie, fluffy, and delicious, this luxurious scent will linger with sweet temptation with every spritz. This fragrance has a number 81, which is the amount of times that they had to go back into the lab to get it right. And although I don't have the full-size packaging, I did watch a video that Mona released where she talked about how they have changed the packaging of their cartridges. So normally the packaging, actually I have one, let me give it to you. So their older packaging had this beautiful diamond shape box, but they have switched up their packaging to be more of a standard square shape. So this is the packaging of the travel size, but the full size is gonna have more of a square rectangular shape. And she said that they did it so that they could restock fragrances faster because it took more time to make the packaging for the diamond shaped boxes. And then also the other packaging or the newer packaging is going to be more sustainable. So it will allow for them to restock their fragrances faster. Also, it's making it more sustainable because they can fit more boxes in one large box compared to having more bulkier packaging with a particular shape. Um, so if you, order the fragrance in one of the larger sizes and you notice that the packaging is different, that's why. And she said as they are selling out their older fragrances with the older packaging, when you go to order those fragrances, it will come in a newer packaging once they, you know, get rid of all of the packaging that they currently have. So wanted to point that out. Now let's get into how I feel about this fragrance. So when I saw the imagery, first of all, I love the color pink. So that light baby pink had me all up in there. Then when I saw that we were going to have marshmallow, strawberry, and whipped cream, I was like, so I'm basically going to be smelling like a snack. And that's exactly how I smell. So when I first spray the fragrance, I immediately smelled the strawberry and the whipped cream. Those were the first two notes that jumped out at me. And I was like, okay, like something about Kayali's fragrances that I have learned, because I have a few of them. I want a mission to get all of them. And I am working really well on, <laughs> on that mission. Something that I've noticed is that the scent that I think I'm going to smell initially is not always the scent that I smell. And it like kind of takes me by surprise. So I wasn't expecting to smell 
strawberry first. I was expecting to smell marshmallow, hence the name Yum Bougie Marshmallow. So I smell strawberry and whipped cream and I'm like, okay, this smells really good, like really good. I was in the store with my friend and she was like, ooh, that smells good. I was like, I know. Okay, so I had the salesperson spray my hand because she wouldn't let me spray myself, okay? I think she didn't want me to use too much, but she gave me one spritz on the back of my hand. I had no other fragrance on the back of my hand. And I was like, okay, this smells really good. Let's see how this smells in an hour. Now, in an hour, I felt like when the dry down hit, that's when I got more of those warmer notes, more of those spicier notes. Like I smelled more of the musk. I felt like the strawberry had time to like re really settle in and you got a deeper, warmer, a little bit more of a sensual scent and it smelled so good. Like I wanted to eat my hand because it smelled so good. Now I was initially concerned because with one spritz of this fragrance on the back of my hand, I felt like after a couple of hours, I really couldn't smell it as much. And I was like, oh no, please don't say that this thing is gonna fade very quickly because I want you to be here for a long time. And I felt like the way that it was described, I felt like it should have lingered longer. So I then decided, let me spray myself the way I would normally spray myself. So I sprayed the fragrance on the back of this hand. I gave myself three good spritzes because I am definitely not one to be a modest spritzer. <laughs> and I am happy to say, I feel like it lasts longer with more juice. Now, for people who like a modest spray, I'm not gonna say that it's gonna fade quickly off of just one spray. Um, I was looking at someone else's video and just reading the comments, because I, I try not to look at other people's reviews before I experience a fragrance myself so I can have my own authentic thoughts. And I saw someone comment that they felt like the juice in the travel spray was a little, not different, but they felt like the fragrance didn't last as well from the travel spray, but then when they got the full size, they had a better sillage with the full size. And I was like, okay, that makes me feel good because I was just like, I don't want this fragrance to fade quickly and then I've got to keep spraying because I'm also not the person who travels with my fragrance in my purse so I can touch up my fragrance all day. I'm usually the person that I'm gonna put a good amount on in the morning and then I'm not touching up my fragrance until either the end of the day before I go out somewhere else or we're just not touching up at all. I've had this fragrance on the back of this hand for almost four hours and y'all, she smells so good. It's a really beautiful sugar sweet, but don't think like sickening sugar sweet. Also don't think like candy sweet it's a very um the words that come to mind are a mature sweet but i know that's not the best way to describe it but it smells so good you guys this is one of those fragrances where i know she will stand alone and she will make a statement if you wear her by herself not because it's going to have an overpowering scent but because this combination of scents are going to be ones that people are going to be like, what are you wearing? Because it smells so sweet, you're going to smell like a dessert, like a dessert walking around <laughs> on feet. And so it's one of those scents where people are going to be like, what are you wearing? Because you smell good. Like if you've got it on your neck, people are going to want to come up and get in your space. They're going to want to come up and get in your neck. I put up a TikTok and I said, Mona, you about to make my husband go to jail because I'm gonna be smelling irresistible and he gonna be out here trying to fight people. And I'm okay with that because I'm so good with smelling like a snack. Maybe Sean's not okay with it, but I'm okay with it. I'm just joking. But you gonna smell really, really, really good. So I am so excited to have this fragrance. This is the second fragrance in the Yum family. So our first fragrance in the Yum family was the beautiful and the oh so good Yum Pistachio Gelato. I know for a fact these two were made for each other. 
they're in the same family. Of course they were made for each other. So this is a fragrance combination that I feel does not even have to be said, but we're gonna go ahead and say it. If you're not familiar with the Yum Pistachio Gelato, we've got notes of pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy. So a few of the notes in this fragrance are exactly the same in this fragrance. I would say that Yum Pistachio is gonna smell more like pistachio. So like when I smell this, that note is the first note that I smell. And I feel like this particular fragrance is pretty linear. Like from the time that I spray it until, you know, hours later, I am smelling that pistachio. I do get a little bit more of the sweetness as the day goes on. But this one, I feel like you're getting pistachio and sweetness. With the Yum Bougie Marshmallow, one of the other things that I like about it is that the initial scent that you smell is also not going to be the same scent that you're going to smell a few hours in. It's going to give you a nice little journey. It's going to take you from smelling, in my opinion, a fruity sweeter note to a really beautiful, warm, spicy note after a few hours. And I love me a fragrance that takes me on a journey because I feel like I'm like exploring something new when I'm wearing it and that's how I feel with this fragrance. So I feel like these two will pair really nicely together and I feel that this scent will be enhanced with the nuttiness of Yum Pistachio Gelato. Okay, another pairing that I think will be absolutely amazing, Vanilla Rock Candy. Oh, these two together. Honey, chow. Because Vanilla Rock Candy, she is sweet as sweet as sweet. She's also one of those fragrances that when I first smelled it, I was like, oh, I don't know if I like this. And so I got the travel size because I'm like, I'm a Kayali stan. I have to have it. But I don't know if I like it enough to have a full size. Clearly, I love her because I use this Joker up so much from the time that I got it all through the summer and I think this was such a perfect fragrance for the spring and summer because it was so sweet and it smells so good and this joker lasts all day long. So I feel like pairing both of these together, the sweetness from Vanilla Rock Candy I think is going to pair really nicely with the fruity, sweet, spicy warmth of the bougie, the yum bougie marshmallow. Um, and I cannot wait to wear these two together. Obviously, because I just got this today, I have not worn these scents together with Yum Bougie Marshmallow, but based on the notes of these other fragrances that I'm recommending and how I know they work, I already know the pairing is going to be delectable. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've tried some of these pairings. Okay, another one that I'm so excited about, Eden Sparkling Lychee. Okay, Eden Sparkling Lychee is easily top three, top four favorite Kayali fragrance ever. Quickly, notes are going to be Black Curant, Sparkling Lychee, Rose Damascena, Candied Violet, Sugared Amber, and Sandalwood. So I feel like the fruitiness in Eden Sparkling Lychee is going to pair really nicely with the strawberry notes in yum bougie marshmallow and then also we're going to have a, a nice enhancement of the woodiness in sparkling lychee with yum bougie marshmallow i'm wearing this combo manana because i already know it's about to be one of my favorite combinations now getting into some non kayali fragrance pairings that i think are going to be spectacular First, we have this one. I forgot the brand, but the scent is called Kisa Pink. I will have, of course, all of these fragrances linked down below. So if you want to check them out, you can do so. This fragrance is definitely an obsession of mine. I got this earlier in the springtime. I could not put this down. And if you smell Kisa Pink, it kind of reminds me. It puts me in the same family of... Yum Bougie Marshmallow. They're not identical, they're not dupes here, but they smell quite similar. Oh, and I don't even have Kisa Pink memorized. So Kisa Pink is going to air along the side of being more of like a powdery sugar sweet. Where in the Yum Bougie Marshmallow, we're getting more of a fruity sugar sweet with uh, a little bit of spiciness to it and warmth to it. 
So I feel like both of these together are going to be so dynamic. Like they're really going to have a beautiful synergy together. And this is another pairing that I cannot wait to wear. As a matter of fact, because I feel like I just need to go ahead and put them on together right now. I know y'all can't smell me, but I can smell myself. Oh, I already, I already know this is about to be a pairing, like a, a consistent pairing for me. Okay, another one is going to be the Latafa Yara Candy Fragrance paired with Yum Bougie Marshmallow. Okay, so the scents in this one are going to be Citrus Musk fruity vanilla amber wood. So similar notes, but I feel like Latafa Yara Candy is gonna have a little bit more woodiness to it um, compared to Yum Bougie Marshmallow. But together, another dynamic pairing. And then lastly, one of my favorite fragrances just across the board, Latafa Yara. This is gonna have more of an amber vanilla type of scent. So once again, I feel like these notes are going to, I feel like these fragrances are going to pair really nicely together. Oh, Latafa Yara is going to be very similar to Kisa Pink. In the spring, I always wore Latafa Yara and Kisa Pink together because they complemented each other so well because they do have a similar scent profile. Both of them have more of that powdery type of scent. So once again, I feel like this particular fragrance is giving me more powdery sweet and I think it's going to pair really nicely with the fluff in Yum Bougie Marshmallow. So those are just some pairings that when I smelled this one, I immediately thought of these fragrances and I was like, I already know. I already know it's about to be amazing. Uh, hold on, we got one more. I mean, it goes without saying that we have to include Vanilla 28 because she's just the mixer of all mixers. I feel like I could put Vanilla 28 with Clorox and then somebody's gonna be like, what are you wearing? Because she just mixes and plays so well with everyone. So I'm gonna try these two together because I've never mixed Vanilla 28 with the fragrance and she failed me. So I'm just gonna throw this one in here. But I definitely feel like this particular fragrance is gonna be one of those, like I said before, that she can stand alone and be powerful. But she is going to be like break the internet dynamic paired with a fragrance that complements her skeleton and her DNA. And I feel like these are just some of the many that you could pair her with and you just be the most delectable, edible person in the room. And at this point in my life, that's what I'm trying to be. So let me know your thoughts down below. Have you tried this fragrance? If shipping is taking forever for you, I say go to your local Sephora because they had it in my local Sephora. I had to ask for it. For some reason, they had the tester tucked away. I guess they feel like people might steal it. I don't know. Maybe people do. Um, but when I went in there and asked for it, they had the tester and they also had the fragrances tucked away as well. So maybe go in store and check it out. But either way, I want to know your thoughts. What do you think of this one? Is this one up your alley? If you tried it, do you like it? And if you tried it and you've been wearing it, what are some fragrance pairings that you like with this one? Leave that all down in the comment section below. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.